Hello, beautiful people. I'm Deja Riley Isadorchek. And I'm Jimmy Isadorchek. And this is a workout series that we are bringing to you guys. It's something that we have wanted to do for a really long time. We've been planning it and talking about it, and we just weren't quite getting there because we're both perfectionists. So we have this space in our basement that we wanted to look like a perfect studio space. We wanted our bodies to look camera ready, like the way that they were like a year ago before we had our baby. Uh, we wanted everything to be perfect and polished, but it just wasn't getting there. So we decided, you know what, no matter what, we're just gonna start doing it. And that's what we want you guys to do too. That's right. And we don't have a lot of time on our hands these days, so we decided to make these workouts short and sweet just for you. Now, if we're feeling this way, we are sure that there are other people out there that are feeling this way too. So together, we're just gonna start where we are, use what we have, and do what we can. My favorite quote by Arthur Ashe. And we have something for everybody. We have high intensity, low intensity, upper body, lower body, core, cardio, some boxing, a little bit of everything, no matter what space you have, no matter what equipment you have, no matter what experience you have, this is something for everyone. Sure is. So we got one question for you. Are you ready to start, start somewhere? somewhere. All right, all right, back at it again. We gotta hit this one quick because I'm starting to take a nap. And we are on borrow time. <laughs> you thought the same thing. All right, so I wanna start with a big deep breath. Arms rise high above your head. Inhale. This is a full body workout. You will need a set of medium weights. Choose an option that's best for you, but you are more than welcome to just focus on form in this workout and do it all body weight. One more deep breath with us. Inhale, biggest deep breath. And exhale, release. <sighs> Go ahead and shake it out. We're gonna start with some wrists and ankle rolls in three, two, one. Bring your hands out in front of your chest. Roll the wrists outward a few times. And then reverse those rolls inward. We're gonna bring the hands into the hips as we roll out that left ankle. Just for a little while. There you go, and reverse. Good job, everybody. Now, I found this quote by this author named Frank Sonnenberg, switch sides. It said, if you wanna get anywhere, you gotta start somewhere. So that's gonna be the words of motivation that we hold on to today. Let's go ahead and go for our next stretch. Reach that hand up and over to the opposite side of the head and gently pressing into that shoulder. Now you still wanna be dropping that shoulder away from the ear and then dropping the opposite shoulder away from that ear. Three, two, one. Switch to the other side. Take your time here. Deep breaths in. Exhale out. Woo. Nice work, squad. Last three, two, one. Go ahead and take that left arm across the chest. Lock it in with that right hand. Give yourself a thumbs up for today. Because you're going to do great. you got to believe it first, though. Yeah? I'm going to go ahead and bring that same arm, reach behind the back, gentle press to the elbow, give yourself a pat on the back for showing up for yourself today, and showing up with your partner if you have one. One of us can be your partner, we need one. Take a deep breath in, release those arms, go ahead and swing that right arm across the chest, lock it in with the left arm, give yourself another thumbs up, just why not, two thumbs up. I can already feel it. Go ahead and take that same arm, reach it down behind the back, and press to that elbow. Just got a couple more stretches, a little bit of uh, a cardio move. I think it's going to be something. Get this workout going. Hands on the hips. Take some hip circles to the right. There we go. Love. <laughs> and then reverse those hip circles. I'm gonna go into some leg stretches here. Starting with the active quad stretch in three, two, one. Step on that right foot, pull the left heel into the glute, reach those fingers as high to the sky. So to engage your core here. <laughs> oh, that side sweep. I lost my balance and I just uh, wanted it to look cool. As I was saying, engage your core. <laughs> My husband showed you we're gonna need it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and step one foot behind us. Drive that heel down into the ground, press those hips full. We're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. Feel the stretch up the hip flexors, down the backs of the hamstrings, and down the calves. Go ahead and bring that foot in. Step that foot 
the back, drive the heel down into the ground. Now we're gonna start this workout with a standing ab series. So that means we're gonna have three minutes straight of abs, and then we're gonna go ahead and tuck that a little bit. So keep engaging the core while we grab our weights and hit 10, 50 second exercises. Are you ready, babe? Let's start by marching. So we're gonna start with a rising arms march, but you wanna take it slow. You're testing your balance as you lift one knee up and then really focusing on engaging your core. We're gonna focus on that core canister breathing. So what you wanna do is pretend like you have like a, a wrap around your belly, right? And you're gonna engage the core and then you're really expanding your ribs the whole time. You're expanding your ribs, filling them with air, and then exhaling. You're keeping your core nice and tight. So you're not filling up your belly, you're filling up your ribs. <laughs> Bring those fingertips behind the head, keep marching. We're gonna go for bicycle crunches in three, two, one. Here we go, standing bikes, opposite elbow towards the opposite knee, but you do not have to tap, tap that elbow to the knee. In fact, I would rather you focus on the twist than worry about meeting the elbow to the, to the knee. It's just a simple direction there. Great job, babe. Thank you. Keep breathing, that nice tight corn canister breathing that we're gonna maintain throughout this workout. We're gonna step the feet out to the side in three, two, one. Join me in some oblique crunches here. Elbow is driving towards the ground, getting a slight tilt in the body. We're really feeling it in the opposite side in those obliques. Woo. How are you feeling, Dave? Feeling good. I'm really excited for this all standing workout because when I first started getting back to my workouts, it was really hard for me to get up and down, going up and down to the ground. Then I got a little bit of practice doing it with my son. So worked my way up to be able to get up and down quickly. All right. We're gonna go for a standing bike and then overly crunch while lifting the leg into a fire hydrant. So now we're getting the side of the glutes involved a little bit. You can tap the foot down in between each lift, each leg lift that is. So we're combining that standing bike with a little overly work. And we're gonna return to a rising arms march to finish it all out, get that heart rate a little bit higher. And just five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and march it out. Put the arms up and release. Last 15 seconds here. And then we're gonna go into that workout. We're gonna get a little bit of a break, but not too long. Just gotta keep it cranking today. Last five, four, Three, two, one. All right, warm up is done. Standing ab work is done. Are you ready to grab those weights? I'm as ready as I can be. Okay. Now, like I said before, you can do this entire workout body weight only if you need to. But since we did a body weight workout for our last workout, this week we're going to try to challenge ourselves and we're going to use weights. I will break down the form for each exercise at the end of the previous exercise. We got 10 exercises back to back, 50 seconds on the clock for each exercise, and then we'll get a 90 second break, and we'll do it for another round. So just two minutes. A lot of numbers. I know. Without more for me to yeah. run down all of the <laughs> exercises, all right, let me get the timer set up. Here we go. Go ahead and grab your weights, Dave. I want you to demonstrate the first exercise because the timer starts right away. Okay. So it's going to be a alternating lateral raise. So he's gonna raise the right arm first. He's gonna to try to keep his arm as straight as possible, taking it out to a half T. There we go. Oh, so lift. You look, you look yeah. great, you look amazing. <laughs> Here we go, we're gonna to start together in just three, two, one, 50 seconds on the clock. Let's work, party people. Oh yeah. Now, if you've ever noticed that your weights feel a little too heavy, I want to encourage you to drop set to a lighter set of weights. It doesn't matter how light, you can go down to a three pound, a two pound, a one pound weight. You're doing what's best for you and that's what counts. You can also drop down to body weight 
knowing that is more than enough, that you are doing more than enough just for showing up today. You're already halfway through this first exercise. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the next exercise, but watch Jimmy if you need to focus on this exercise. Going for a hammer curl. So our palms are gonna face inward. We're going to curl those knees into the shoulders and then release them back, back down by our sides. You're gonna join me for this work in just three, two, one. Here we go, hammer curl. Yeah, it's hammer time, baby. <laughs> Although the hammer time would be with like our legs, but we're not there yet. It's a yeah. head to toe. Pants. Yeah, I know. We need some parachute pants. Do you have any parachute pants? You know I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know you're closet. <laughs> but I think that would be great. I'm gonna pair of parachute pants. I'm gonna keep your back up nice and tall. Keep engaging those abs here. Practice that core canister breathing where you're filling up the ribs and the upper body and the chest and really holding that core nice and tight the entire time. It's like you're doing abs the entire time. Now from here, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge. Stay with you on this exercise. We're gonna step one leg back, let the legs hang down by our sides. Make two 90 degree angles with the legs in three, two, one. Let's get to work. <laughs> because I believe in you and I know you can do it. Keep that chest up nice and tall. Stepping back up to the bottom of the foot. Make sure you're nice, strong, and stable there before you go down. So if it's too much to do it all in one motion, you can stop here, take it down, and let the split squat rise up and then bring the feet together. Slow down wherever you need to. Remember, you're gonna get a second chance at all these exercises. Keep going with Jimmy. We're gonna go for a wide. No, keep going for the first one. <laughs> okay, we're going for a wide shoulder press. We're gonna start in goal pose. Press those weights above the head. Join me in three, two, one. So soft bend in those knees, bringing the arms back down to that goal pose position, and then pressing them up above the head. Both arms straight, shoulders pressed down. Still focusing on that core canister breathing. Is great. If I have any pregnant people here, it is wonderful to start to practice that core canister breathing. And need it along with your 360 breathing, which we'll have to demonstrate that another time. Just for this workout, really focusing on the core canister. Great breathing to use the strength. I'm gonna go ahead to the next exercise where I wrap the weight just above my shoulders and I step out for a lateral squat. Put the feet together in three, two, one. We're going to win it. So you squat down as you step out. Bring the feet back together. Stand nice and tall. You drop that booty down towards the ground. There we go. Get as low as you can possibly go. Really make sure your knees aren't rolling in or going inward. You need to slow down and this tempo is too fast for you. I encourage you to do what's best for you. That's how you're gonna get the most out of this workout. Keep going with Jimmy here as I demonstrate the next exercise. Next time around, I'll stay with you. We're gonna go for a deadlift. So we're gonna scan our legs with the weights all the way down to the mid shins. Bring it up, squeeze the glutes. Again, we're scanning down. Nice flat back here. Bring it up, nice flat back. Three, two, one, let's go. Stand it down. And keep a nice soft bend in those legs. You're gonna feel it in those glutes and those hamstrings. Keep that beautiful, proper posture here. So, a lot of people tend to keep the head up like that when they go down for a deadlift. I want you to keep that neckline straight as part of your spine. Like it's a little body move. Going down, hitting hips, and bringing you back up again. Keep going with that one, babe. You're going to stay in a bent over position for this next exercise, and you're going to go for an alternating bent over row. So pulling one weight into the hips, elbow towards the sky right now. Back to the position there. Soft bend the knees. I know that 
glutes might still be burning as we focus on those arms, but remember it's a full body workout. Those muscle groups work together in this. We work together in this. Keep going with my lovely husband there. I'm gonna stay to the side to demonstrate this one as we rise up onto the balls of the feet and slowly lower the heels down. You wanna make sure you're not rolling out or in on the ankles. You go straight up to straight down like an elevator. Join me in this work in three, two, one. Here we go, rise up and lower down. Rising up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. How's that for canister? Breathing. Your court hamster? Yes, your court hamster. Good. Good. We only have two more exercises in, these, uh, in this circuit. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the next one. I'm going to stay facing the side so you can see. I'm kicking my heel towards the sky and rolling it back down. We've got standing from the here. We're going to hold our weights out to the side and let the farmer's carry. So a little bit farther away from the body, which means you're going to be working those arms too. I know. I'm not sorry. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Sweet move. Beautiful booty back there. Try not to rock too much from side to side. Really engaging my core. Coming down towards the ground with that butt to butt. You see that farm is carried in. You can get a little further from the body. There we go. We get going. We're more than halfway through this second to last exercise. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the last exercise. We're going to let those weights hang in between our legs. Toes are pointed out onto a 45 degree angle. You're going to lower down into a sumo squat and then rise back up. Again, lowering down, knees over those toes. And bring it up. Join me in three, two, one. Final exercise. Final 50 seconds in your first circuit. And then you're going to be really grateful for that 90 second rest. Ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get to set those weights down in a little under 40 seconds. I'm staring at some three pound weights. <laughs> right off camera right now. And they're gonna stay off camera, babe. <laughs> they're very tempting. I know. But if we wanna be better and stronger, we gotta keep challenging ourselves, and I know you can do it. It's not painful, is it? I know. Okay. This, this is great. Okay, good. Last 10 seconds here. Really take your time getting into that sumo spot. Remember, we're gonna hit these exercises one more time, so you will feel the burn. You won't feel it yet. Three, two, one, rest. All right, set those weights down. How did that feel? Really good. Yeah? Hard. Yeah. <laughs> but a full body workout, right? Oh, yeah. I don't think you left any muscles behind, did you? I don't think so. Yeah. Well, gotta do it again. Three, two, one. And uh, they have to do it again. I'm here for it. I'm here for it, too. How about you drop into the comments? Let us know how you feel. You've got one more minute to rest. Get a sip of water, towel off, do whatever it is that you need to do. I was just going to pass the water, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, remember that quote that I said at the very beginning, if you want to get anywhere, you got to start somewhere. Well, you should be proud of yourself because you already started somewhere. And now we're going to take it all the way across the finish line. In just 40 seconds, we're going to repeat those same 10 exercises, but we're going to do it backwards. Oh. Yeah. I like to like crawl up okay. and then crawl back down. Okay. Yeah. So this time we're going to start with a sumo squat. It keeps the brain working too, you know? Yeah, I like to break a mental squat too. You know? We're definitely doing that. Mind, body, and spirit. All right, 15 seconds to go. So go ahead and start setting yourself up for success. Grab those weights. Remember, they're going to hang down in between those legs. So go ahead and get into that nice wide stance. Toes pointing out in the 45 degree angle or bring them in if your knees are starting to roll in. Three, two, one, sumo squat. Woo. Really squeezing those glutes nice and tight at the top. I'm gonna go for the full 50 seconds with you this time, but I will call out the next exercise so you can know what you're doing. There we 
to go. Maybe look down for a second and do a little knee check, making sure those knees aren't rolling inward, making sure that chest isn't collapsing forward, keeping it, keeping it up nice and tall. 10 more seconds here, party people. We're about to go into some alternating donkey kicks with the farmer's carry. Arms out to the side just a little bit in three, two, one. Face in the front so that you can see my farmer's carry. So I'm working those arms as I'm working those glutes. Keeping those legs towards the sky, those heels towards the sky. Remember, you don't have to kick it too high, but try to keep that leg as straight as you possibly can behind you. Do you think if you're a farmer and you do this, you would just call it a carry? You know, probably so. We should ask some farmers. Do you know any farmers, babe? No. You thought about becoming a farmer yourself, haven't you? Yeah. Cat yeah, phrase in the I'm a farmer, but I would love to grow our own fruits and vegetables. Two, one. I know, but I'm relating that cat phrase. Rise up nice and strong without rolling out on those angles. I'm um, remembering back to when you said that you wanted to own some chickens. Yes. And I figured if you wanted chickens, you probably would also want a cow. Yeah. And by not? that time, we're starting to. Chickens are a little bit more manageable. Yeah. We had a friend in LA who had chickens in his backyard, remember? Yeah, oh my gosh, yes. I was in the middle of LA. I know. And he was getting that, those fresh eggs. Yeah. Take a deep breath in. Still out. We're going to go into an alternating bent over row here. In just eight seconds, I'm going to turn to the side. Here we go. In four, three, two, one. All right. So remember those form cues, pulling the weight in towards that hip, bending that elbow and releasing to straighten that arm. And move the other arm. Flat back here. So you're practicing that pretty posture. Do our best not to twist the trunk of the body here. Staying stable as you isolate those arms. Really working those triceps here. Squeezing those shoulder blades inward one at a time. There we go. Ten more seconds here. We're going to go for that deadlift. You're doing great. I'm going to face the palms in towards the legs in three, two, one, chest up tall, lift those palms, face the legs, and then scan those legs. Down to the chin, bring it up. How you doing, squad? How you feeling, babe? Good. Good. Amazing. Woo. I said 
said I wanted to box later, but I feel like my delt boys are yeah. blown. So I want. So I think this is gonna be it for me today. Woo! And we've got alternating with our orange. Join us in just 10 seconds. Finish strong. Come on, squad. You can do this. Three, two, one. Weights down by our side. Step it back into the ball of the foot. Drop down into those 290 degree angles without touching the knee to the ground. That is it. Woo! Keep breathing. Keep believing in yourself. Remember, if you want to get anywhere, you got to what? Start somewhere. There we go. <laughs>
got that. Even being a dancer, reverse directions. I think it's a silly dance. I don't know that there's a technical way to do it. All right, we're gonna go into a little combo stretching here. So go ahead and step that left leg behind you into a high lunge, drive the heel down to the ground. Shift those hips forward so you feel that hip flexor stretch. Go ahead and take that arm across the chest. Feel a hamstring stretch and a stretch down the back of your arm. And hold it here for three, two, one. Release the arm, straighten both legs. Go ahead and reach that same arm. Drop the hand behind the back, gentle press to the elbow, and now bend the back leg. Stretch on the other side, drive that heel down to the ground, shift those hips forward, feel that hip flexor stretch and that hamstring stretch at the same time. Arm across the body, hold it here, take a deep breath in, exhale, release. feet together. We're going to go ahead and take one final stretch together. We're going to take a big deep breath, arms rise. As we release, we let that chest slowly collapse forward. And we're just going to shift from right to left here, bend knees side to side, swinging the body, right to left, left to right. Take a big deep breath down here. And when you find a center position, go ahead and slowly roll up one vertebrae right at a time. Remember that amazing quote by Frank Sonnenberg. If you want to get anywhere, you have to start somewhere. And you did that today. Congratulations. Great job, babe. Good. That was awesome. <laughs> yes, it was. It felt good. Thank you. Hey, if you liked this last workout, we encourage you to like, subscribe, save, comment, and share. We are so proud of you guys because today you decided to start, start somewhere. somewhere.